Hey folks, Eric the Old Jarhead here. Did you know that whatever is a measurement? It really is. One by whatever, two by whatever, three and a half by whatever, four by whatever. Can you get me six by whatever? Well, whatever by six. Whatever can be a measurement. <laughs> I know that's a little crazy, right? But here's the thing. You know, I, I make a lot of videos about mobile millings. You know, that's you watch my channel, you probably see that. I do a lot of how-to kind of stuff and a lot of what I do out here in this remote milling environment. And one of the things that I run across a lot, which is actually kind of cool, is that customers often are looking for a specific thickness of lumber, but not always necessarily a width. And if they are in that particular scenario where they're looking for some one inch by whatever stuff, whatever becomes a measurement. And one of the challenges as a mobile sawyer is to decide what whatever equals to. So in this particular log, I'm going to mill some one by whatevers. And it's actually a measurement kind of thing that that you see a lot of out on the road. It's not always, I need three quarter inch by three and a half inches, or one inch by six inches, or two inches by 12 inches. You do see a lot of that. And I would say maybe 75% of what I mill is two specific dimensions. However, I do a lot of one by material or two by material that the width is not that big of a deal for the customer and and there's a couple reasons for that one of them as is perhaps in this case is the customers got woodworking equipment they're not really sure what width they're going to use in the end or they're going to use random widths so as long as they get something that is at least four inches wide and or wider that'll work for them right four inches wide you could trim it up a little bit if it's uh you know once wood dries it tends to move uh, you might edge it down a little bit, maybe you take it down to three and three quarters or something like that, or maybe you take it down to three and a half and you use it, because when you buy lumber in the store, if you're buying a one by four in the store, it's, it isn't one by four, it's three quarters of an inch thick by three and a half inches wide. So if the portable sawyer mills, um, you know, seven, eight inch thick by four inch wide stuff and it shrinks down to say 13 16 of an inch in thickness and uh, three and 15 16 or three and seven eighths inch width then the customer can plane it down in thickness a little bit get her down to three quarters of an inch and they can trim it or edge it on a table saw and get their their dimensional one by four which is three quarters by three and a half on the other hand if you're milling say one by twelves and they wanted one by sixes, they can rip those down in the middle when they're doing their edging. So it's very common to see this one by whatever. And I have a little expression that I often use with customers, which is I can take a two by 12 and make two two by sixes out of it, but I can't take two two by sixes and make a two by 12. <laughs> you know, okay, you can glue it together, but it's not the same thing. And so it's very common on these mobile jobs to be given a, a, a dimension of one by whatever, whatever you can get. And in this case, I think that's probably what I was doing. Um, I know that there were some one by sixes and some one by fours. There was a bit of a mix, but there was also a lot of live edge one side or live edge both sides. And those are whatever width you can get. And so folks, <laughs> the moral of the story here is whatever is a measurement. <laughs> but that's not all. So we've got this log. Th this log wasn't real big. Um, I think it was probably about a 15 inch, you know, 15, 16 inches. The customer had a lot of great logs. These were awesome logs. They had been down a while, so they had a lot of blue stain. But honestly, these were good logs. They were, they were beautiful logs. There was no punk in them. They just had a lot of blue stain, which is going to look awesome when they make their paneling and their countertops and tabletops and things they're going to make out of it. It's going to be awesome. But, you know, so, and you can see it, you know, I flip this log around a little bit, you'll see it at different times. It's heavily blue stained. It's gorgeous stuff. I can't believe that people don't like blue stained pine. I love blue stained pine. But in any case, you know, this one here, this is really the classic example of what you do on a portable sawmill. Square up a can and then rip her down. 
and you know that's all we're doing here we're just squaring it up and ripping her down so let's see what happens we'll knock her out a little bit here get some cuts knocked out of the way and see where we get to I will tell you that this job site is absolutely gorgeous. I had one of the best views you could ever imagine. Awesome setup. I had a great place to park the camper. You know, and, and the thing you have to realize on these jobs, and, and one of the things that you'll probably see in my videos here, is I usually roll up on site sometime either late morning or early afternoon because I've got a drop. And, you know, so you're, you could be driving for a couple hours, three hours or more. It just depends on how far away they are. And so, you, you, you know, you get there and then you drop the mill off and you unload the mill and you get everything set up. And then usually I mill for two or three or four hours, try to get as much milling as I can in, in that first afternoon to get a good start. So that the next morning, all I got to do is get the mill set up and get things ready to go and then knock her out. So you'll kind of see that in some of these videos. You'll notice that when I show up on site, I get a bunch of milling done and then things change a little bit. I'll have time to actually get to the camper and relax a little bit, but this one here's done, folks. I got more coming for you. I will tell you, stick around. Wait till you see the big monster slabs that I milled for this customer. They are awesome. As always, folks, appreciate every one of you. Thanks for watching. The old jar hit out.